Hi, this is Adam Onslaught for Metal One, and I am here in a very hot, sweaty environment with three very beautiful people from In This Moment. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Thanks for having us. Yes, thank oh, you're you. very welcome indeed. Many congratulations on the success of your latest uh, and sixth studio thank album, Now Ritual. You. Uh, you must be really pleased with the outcome of the album and its command. Uh, and uh, the finishing product is just incredible. I've been listening to it all week this week. Oh, thank you so much. We're very grateful and we're very happy. And we're one of those weird bands that each album, uh, we it's getting bigger and more people are coming out to the shows. And we're just like, we're not sure how it's happening. We're just but, doing you know. the same thing, man. <laughs> keep trying to write good songs and keep trying to promote them and tour and put on the best show we can. And... The fact that it's growing a little bit every album cycle and every tour feels amazing and we feel fortunate and lucky. Would you be able to tell us a little bit about how the album was put together? Um, yeah, we, we did it in Las Vegas. Um, we've done all of our albums there except for the very first one. It's a terrible location. And it kind of goes different ways, doesn't it? <laughs> it's sad. Sometimes we write in the studio, sometimes you write at home, sometimes it's like someone sends somebody something, sometimes it's just me on the piano. So it's kind of just like not one system exactly it's kind of all over the place especially the, on Ritual it was a combination of writing in the studios ideas she had on her cell phone you know somebody brings in a cool thing or something it was all, all a bunch of different ways but we did it over three months and uh, I don't know not yeah. much else to say about it yeah. <laughs> except we're happy that it's out and people well, are liking it yeah I think we're all very happy that, it, that it's out it's, it's really really good thank uh, you there's a couple of amazing surprises on the album of course, we're talking about your work with Rob Halford. <laughs> How did that come about? He's uh, he came to we were at a show and they came to us and said, "Hey, Mr. Rob Halford wants to come out tonight and say hello to you guys and watch the show." And we're like, <laughs> "Yeah, we didn't even believe it." And the people <laughs> yeah, at the club were telling us he's he said he's coming out before and he doesn't show up because it was in San Diego where he's actually was living at the time. Um, so they were telling us, "Yeah, he's he's been supposed to show up and never showed up, but he actually showed up." And it was amazing. We met him. He was really cool. And Maria and him became friends. And when doing Black Wedding. Yeah, we just kept, we in the lyrics, we kept saying priest, priest, priest. And every time I kept saying, I just kept envisioning him as this priest in the in the video. And I was like, we should ask Mr. Helfer to be in this. Let's, let's reach out. And he was like, yep. And then we were doing the video. And I had this whole conceptual idea. And I'm like, you're going to, what do you think about this? Because obviously his opinion, like if he tells me no, I'm like, all right, no. But he just went with it. First try, he's like, all right, let's do it. So it's, it's an honor for us. And it's an amazing character. I mean, for me as a, as a child, Rob Halford, you know, he's a, he's a local guy for me. Uh, Birmingham are very, very proud of him. But what, what kind of influence is he in your music? Oh, for, for me and for Randy, like, since we were kids, we were listening to Judas Priest, man, from back in the day. The first time I ever got stoned, these guys, like, played me Electric Eye. And I was like sitting in the chair, like floored, man. It was one of my first experiences of like hearing music stoned on weed. I mean, <laughs> it, Priest is everything. This whole thing with him being involved is like mind blowing. And we did the video with them, and there's a scene where Randy and I are on each, one of us on each side of him, and he's in the middle, and we're all priests walking down the hall. We can't even believe it happened. I can't believe you know? it. It's totally surreal. Yeah. Is it one of those sort of like, it's, it's kind of like you got to pinch yourself. Yeah, Dude, absolutely. totally. And and the fact that he is such a sweet man I keep saying that but that's it is he's just so cool so into everything so kind and up for any ideas she had he like totally believed in her vision yeah, and just went with it he inspires me because I'm in I love the theatrics you know and he's just the king of the theatrics and the, the F, it's so the large and, and it's so moments, powerful man. you know so for us to be able to collaborate was yeah yeah it's unreal I see the synergy with the visual you know he, yeah he loves the yeah it's it's great yeah. he, he's um, for me he just comes on stage and he's just there. And sun it's like electricity. Yeah. It is like yeah. electricity. Yeah. Sun I saw your set today on the monitors out here, and I felt that the crowd had the same energy for you today. Did you did you feel the energy from them? We did. Oh yeah. We did. It was very powerful and surreal to be on the main stage, and we haven't been back here in a while. So for us to come, you don't know what you're going to expect. You know, going out there and that they were loud and they were yelling back and there were so many people and that's a lot of energy and we're all revved up but we don't get nervous much anymore because we, we do a lot of big festivals. <laughs> but going up there, dude, my heart was pounding. I had a rush over me. It was like everything went into slow mo. It was like <laughs> it felt like the first show again. Honestly, we were, yeah. I was I was freaking. It was, out. You're not the first to say that. That was yeah. powerful. It was. Yeah. 
everything we want. It's a big stage, man. That's the biggest stage you've ever been on. Yeah. I mean, literally. And the yeah. biggest crowd. It's probably one of the yeah. biggest crowds. That's, that's bigger than Rock and Range. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe slightly more. But I talked about a couple of surprises at the okay. album. I've got to talk about the other one. It's got to be in the air. Okay. Okay. I looked at the song list on the album as I sat in the car. And I said, oh, I wonder if... No. I wonder if... No. <laughs> got to the track and went, wow, yes, it is. <laughs> Why that particular song? I mean, since I was a little girl, it's been a song I wanted to cover over and over. Like, every time we do an album, I'm like, let's cover this song. We talk about it every <laughs> and then, like, time. We, we were, I think, intimidated because it's one of those things that you can't make a song like that better. No. And, you know, I think we were looking at it like that. Yeah, you know, you want to cover a song you want. But if you just look at it like you're doing your own interpretation of it and not making it better, just doing your own thing, then it wasn't as intimidating and we wanted to just go for it. Uh, it's always been one of my favorite songs since I was young. It's so haunting and powerful and it's like, you know, it just has that eerie vibe and it just really fit with the whole energy of the album. And it doesn't burst out to like the third verse. Yeah, which is, it's, yeah, it's like Big slow trumpet. tension building. Yeah, and then that's Loads. I shouted, yeah, like Beavis and Butthead when I heard that. <laughs> yeah! I was like, yeah, yeah! All right, it nice, yeah, yeah, nice. I was like, oh, it was like a damn proud moment. Cool. <laughs> That's what we wanted to do, that part, that drum yeah. fill is so iconic. I love that, we yeah. had to come up with our own way to make it big and a big moment there. <laughs> oh, well, it worked for me. It totally Thank worked you. for me. You've got a big schedule still, even now. And of course, you're going to be on stage and touring with Alstom as well. Yeah. Yes. How, how do you feel about that? Because that, that's going to be a great combination of the show. Yeah, we already did one leg of it. So it's us and a Hailstorm co headlining, and then there's other women fronted acts as well, New Year's Day. And the crowd seem to be loving it. They're selling out really good. And it's got this like empowering energy to the whole thing. It's just, it's, we're really all excited about it. And, and, uh, Right? The fans are loving it too. So it, yeah. it seems they like it. after the first tour, they were already like, okay, we're going to do a summer one. You guys into that? And we're like, yeah, because it's so awesome. And there's already talk of something possibly happening later on in the year too, because it's so good. Um, so for us, finishing out this month here and then going home and doing that in the summer, and then we have a fall thing, and we're writing for our next record in between all of that. Yeah. Going to the studio early next year. I'm oh, superb. So you, the, the, the wheel keeps turning. This is the. Yeah. In, this is the tail end of the ritual thing and we'll have a new album for you guys next year yeah. well we'll look forward to hearing that because if this one's to go to Dubai we want to keep it going man while we're while it's hot you momentum know I mean? yeah. Yeah. yeah that's the important thing when you've got something going good it's good to keep, keep it all yeah. going it's really important out of all the countries you've visited so far and you don't have to say this what just to, just to please me <laughs> what's been the most interesting one and what it's a trick question Interesting. I mean, <laughs> it's not a trick question. I don't do trick questions. I mean, Dom, though, the, being here today is it, very relevant and is very real. It's something that's going to always be with me forever, I think. I love Amsterdam as well. It's one of my absolute favorites. The whole country is beautiful. We were um, in Belgium yesterday, and it was really beautiful. Yeah. Everyone had a great day off there. It's a nice place. Tokyo. It's probably one of my favorite places to go to every time we go back. What's yours, Randall? Was this the Castle Donington show? Yeah, in the 70s and 80s. Yeah. So I used to listen to this all the time, and I can't believe we're playing it. It's the same festival. It's exactly yeah. the same, just a different oh, This is a dream come yeah. true. It's amazing. It touched the ground out there. Yeah. yeah. Dio was there. out there. And yeah. Dio was out there. All my favorite bands have played this first time. I do it every now and again. I just stop, take a deep breath, and I touch the ground. Oh, I love it. The energy. There's some energy yeah, here, man, for real. real. I'm yeah. positive even now talking about it. I've got goosebumps and everything. Oh, yeah. it's, awesome. it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. used to play Seriously. Castle Donington concerts on the radio. Oh, yeah. I believe in all that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. All those people, that's real energy. When you go out there and it's like a wall of all these people coming at you, it's like, it's the most exhilarating thing. And that doesn't, that doesn't disappear when the festival ends? No. It the stays, it lingers. That makes sense. I yeah. mean, look at how many people, that buzz, that's real. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, <laughs> such a <laughs> Thank wonderful you very afternoon. Much love. Yeah. Thanks, man. Thanks for the interview. It was, yeah. a, very, it was a good You're one. You're very welcome. Thank you very much. Take care. Thank, Thank you, you very much, love.